All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Now, today, I want to take Mai into Super Battle Road here. Uh, Mai is actually a pretty damn good unit. You know, she's a time traveler category support type unit, which isn't really going to help too much on the Peppy Gal stage here that we're going to take her into, right? But she does have, basically, she has like a, a 70 or 80% chance to stun an enemy on that turn, combining her passive and her super attack. So, uh, I really think our girl Mai will be actually able to help out a lot. Like, you know, I do think Peppy Gauss is like the easiest stage uh, in the game right now for Super Battle Road. But I think Mai could also have some tactical value in not only the super type stage, but also, you know, in the future time travel or future stage, she'll be very, very helpful. Um, okay, so number one, we're rocking the Tech Khalifa. I don't, I'm not even going to spend time talking about her. Y'all already know what the deal is with her. Uh, she will be just just a special... Tech Khalifa is just a special unit. Uh, I cannot wait until that... Well, actually, now that I think about it... No, no. I, okay, I think Tech Khalifa will be on the family uh, Kamehameha LR banner on JP. Uh, because that LR Khalifa and Kale banner goes away, I think, before Goku Day. So we could potentially see uh, that Tech Khalifa on that you know LR Family Kamehameha banner. I need one copy of Tech Khalifa to rainbow her every day. I'm praying, please, please let this next multi give me that card because I want to rainbow her so bad. But I certainly, I don't think I'm gonna summon uh, any more on that Kale and Khalifa uh, banner. That would probably be a, a bit of a dumb dumb move. Um, okay, so, uh, Kale and Khalifa now get a chance to absolutely dominate, so let's go ahead and allow them to do so. Uh, you guys definitely know, uh, that Kale and Khalifa are the best unit in the game. Uh, so when you take the best unit into the game, into the easiest Super Battle World stage, uh, you get Decimation, Obliteration, Insanity, uh, it, it's just over. They single-handedly themselves can carry us through this entire stage. Uh, but now, finally, on the next turn, we'll actually have... Oh, okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Here, so here's what they do in this stage, by the way. Again, this stage was not designed uh, to handle a summonable LR and the best unit in the game at that. So, again, they single-handedly can pretty much carry you through here. Uh, plus, the additional super attack glitch is still active in the game. So, you know, they're able to do even more damage. Uh, we're probably not going to get a chance to see what Mai can do in this first stage because... Unless Goku does not attack that first spot, I'm not going to put her in the first spot. I don't want to, you know, because Mai will take damage. Like, I don't want to expose her to too much damage, right? So, uh, now we're going to get to see Kale, too. You know, these three absolutely busted, just dumb units. Kale, Khalifa, and then the LR, uh, as they just absolutely wreck. Okay, okay, actually, okay, okay. Um, yeah, see, I'm going to do this. I, I, I am indeed going to do this. I will... No, actually, we're, now that I think about it, we're probably not even going to get a Dokkan attack going through these stages. So I'll just go ahead and give characters uh, the same color orb to potentially give us uh, a Dokkan attack in that last fight. But we're probably going to move too quickly. Uh, Khalifa will finish this Goku off, so we don't quite get an opportunity yet to see what Mai can do. You know, we got unlucky with her starting out in the seventh slot. It do be like that sometimes. Uh, okay, so moving on to this second fight again. There is another pure Saiyan here, so Kale and Khalifa will be able to make short work out of Gohan right there. Right there at the start, Gohan is going to get massacred. So, uh, Gohan, my boy, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, and then we'll just move. Yeah, let's also have Kefla uh, go for Gohan to make sure Gohan is finished off. And then... Vegeta's attacking several times at the end, but I'm not really too concerned. Uh, that SCR Ribrian is actually a, a very good unit. Uh, I, I, I like her a lot. Uh, okay, perfect. So now Gohan is done. <laughs> we'll, we'll take out Gohan instantly, painlessly, effortlessly. Uh, and then that one of the three enemies we just do not even have to concern ourselves with. Well, if they got a crit right there, they might have taken him out on that normal attack. Uh, and again, you know, as they start getting the extra attacks from their passive... Boy, do the chances of them getting another attack at the end really, really go up. And just exactly like that. And then, you know, if Dokkan doesn't want to fix the LR additional attack glitch, sure. But we're going to go ahead and make good use of it while it is active. Oh, Krillin, goodbye. <laughs> so, we haven't really had a good chance to show Mai yet. Uh, <laughs> we're... 
<laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> we got really unlucky by having Mai in that seventh slot. That's that's basically about it. <laughs> All right, but finally. Uh, finally now we can see what our girl Mai can do. Uh, I don't really want to put her in the first slot. I mean, tech Khalifa. Let, let, let's let Khalifa go ahead and get a little a little sauce in. Uh, really, all we want to see from Mai is a stun anyway to prove that she could be a really solid unit uh, in these events, right? Let me let me you know we can't I can't be caught using an item in Peppy Gal Super Battle World, so I had to put Khalifa in that first spot. But now our girl Mai. We'll go ahead and stun Vegeta, so we don't have to worry about him. 400,000 is actually pretty decent. That's not bad. Uh, oh, she didn't stun? <laughs> no! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Finally, I get by a super attack and she doesn't stun. <laughs> Again, I think she has a 50% chance to stun from her uh, super attack, and she has a 40% chance to stun from her passive. So, you know, the two of those together works very, very well. Uh, we'll be able to get a lot of very nice, delicious healing right there. Very, very good. So, sorry, Vegeta, uh, but you're not really going to be able to do too much. Now, Kale and Khalifa have supered so many times that their defense is through the moon, by the way. Um, okay, well, actually, this is good. Now we could start out the next fight with my, you know, in the rotation. She'll that my will definitely get a super attack the next time. Like, come on, don't don't play with me, my. Come on, we need you to super attack and we need you to get those stuns off because you know if I'm gonna tout you as a unit that could be very very useful in the future, my girl, we're gonna need them stuns, okay? <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Uh. Okay, oh, this, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm not really too concerned about my taking hits from Roshi, but look at that pesky Yamcha right there. Let's go ahead and stun him. No way, no way does she not, uh, I'm gonna do this. No way does Yamcha not get stunned right here. I have full faith, full faith in our girl Mai to go ahead and stun Yamcha. Sorry, Yamcha. No attack for you, my boy. Get stunned. And then she'll be able to handle Roshi. That's not going to be too bad. She does have type advantage right there. Uh, now, oh! oh. <laughs> yes! So, I did give my Mai uh, 20 dodge. I felt that would be the smartest way to sort of build her um, because, you know, she is a support... Khalifa, um... You're supposed to dodge those with, like, your 70% chance to dodge. Remember that Khalifa does have like a 70% chance to dodge. Oh, I think I got to use an item. Oh no. <laughs> I think I do need to use an item here because there would be no okay. Using an item in this stage of all stages is is kind of embarrassing. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. But you know what would be even worse than that is dying. Actually, we're good because that's a Dokkan attack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think even Roshi could do enough damage even if he super attacked to knock us out. So I actually think this is done. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Kale and Khalifa are going to completely wipe the field out right here with their Dokkan attack. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I didn't think we were going to get a Dokkan attack. So this is actually kind of a pleasant surprise. Uh, but we did see, you know, Mai got her super attack. Or she got her stun. Unfortunately, her super attack did not stun Yamcha. So notice how Yamcha was able to hit us in this turn. That's because her passive kicked in. But that, that her passive, you know, stuns for that one turn. So that she did not have to get hit by Yamcha in that turn. But it wasn't a two-turn stun. So, yep. All right, well. <laughs> Y'all are just going to have to take my word for it about my... <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> Yo, that is what I like to call a disintegration. Again, Kale and Khalifa were not intended to be used on that stage in any shape or form. They were not supposed... Like, that stage was designed without them supposed to be there. So, my, again, will be useful uh, in, like, the future stage, Time Traveler stage, when those come out. You know, she's useful here with that chance to stun. The first attack, she didn't get the stun. The second one, she did. I do recommend giving her 20 dodge, building her with dodge, 
because that way, you know, she, you know, she's a support type unit. You don't need to give her crits. You can give her additionals to maybe get a second chance at a super attack, but I feel like dodges is probably going to get you more in the long run because, you know, she is an int type unit, so she can get to 20 dodge. So I do recommend building her that way. Uh, when the time travel and future stages do come out, I probably will use this Mai because the extra damage and defense she'll add to, you know, strong units like Vegito Blue, you know, LR Trunks, you know, the tech transforming trunks, plus, you know, her, you know, really, really high chance to stun. Uh, she's going to be very, very formidable. So there we go, guys. There was another Peppy Gal Super Battle Road run. Uh, I probably don't have another one of these coming up anytime soon. I've done a lot of videos with Kale and Khalifa on Super Battle Road. Uh, by now, I feel like we've gotten a good look at them as just, you know, disgustingly OP. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and I guess we will go ahead and finish up here for today. <laughs> Shoutouts to my, shout outs to the new three broken Peppy Gals units. I'll catch y'all next time.